This short video is called God's Will for Your Life. What is your purpose in life? Did you know you were known by God even before you were born? And He had purpose for you. God told Jeremiah He knew him before He was born. He had purpose for him. Jeremiah 1 5 Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou came forth, out of the womb I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Apostle Paul reveals to us Ephesians 2.10, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works which God hath before ordained, that we should walk in them. Everyone was born with a purpose and work to do here on earth. And most of us have gone astray doing their own thing. They feel empty and purposeless without God. And they're busy chasing the world. Everyone has a claim and has a calling on their life. And you will find your purpose when you come to Christ and get born again. This is real important. Because most churchgoers are not born again. They're content doing religious works, but not the will of God. Works guided by the Spirit is not the same. Do not be deceived. Most, most born-again believers were directly told by God what to do. These works align with the Great Commission, that is, making disciples to Christ, preaching the gospel to every creature, preaching repentance and remission of sins in His name. And God gave them a variety of gifts to accomplish His will. Here are some examples of born-again believers given specific purposes. A woman whose purpose is to be a word helper, that is, help teach the word and pray for people. Another woman was directly told by Jesus to acknowledge Him before men, that is, witness for Him. She was healed from end-stage breast cancer. 3. Another woman met Jesus, saw the nails, nails in his, nail holes in his feet, and she was told to remind everybody that he's coming back soon. Repent and be ready. She warns time is short. Number 4. A man was audibly spoken to by Jesus in prayer and was told to go plant a church in a different county. Number five, I and many others were told to preach his word. Six, there was a man that was saved out of hell and was told to go attend community college and give his testimony to the young people. You see, he had a near-death experience after a heart attack. You will find out your calling when you are born again and receive the Spirit. Prayer is how you make your calling sure. Verify your calling if you're not sure. You will be happy to repeat it. There are many who are called but few are chosen. That is, many don't answer the call and ignore it. Do not ignore your calling. There's a poll out there that only 2% of professing Christians evangelize. Bill Weiss talked about this. Do not get born again and then go back into the world by and becoming a backslider and lukewarm. Because there are warnings to remember. Matthew 7.21 Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that do the will of my Father which is in heaven. And also the one talent, lazy, wicked servant who got cast into outer darkness, Matthew 25, 25-30. So do your calling, do your job. Because these people in the Bible did not produce any fruit. And non-repentance and worldliness will do that to you. If you read the parable of the sower. Summary. 
Number one, become a born-again Christian and be filled with the Spirit. Then two, seek God's will for your life. God has a specific purpose for your life, and He will tell you. Three, do His calling. This is what you are purposed for, and you will have tremendous joy doing it too. And four, when you finish the race, you will be greatly rewarded in heaven. This is coming to the end of this video. May the Holy Spirit guide your steps and help you endure to the end. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.